Am I the asshole? For shaming my mother about not taking care of our kids? My sister just had her first kid. I have two kids. Six and nine. My mother was never a hands-on grandma, which is completely fine. I learned my lesson early on about asking her to babysit. She would either tell me yes and cancel at the last minute or get mad at me for asking. Now, this by itself wouldn't be a huge deal. However, my mother was the kind of mother who would drop us off at our grandparents all the time. Holidays, we would get dropped off the second day off and picked up three days before school started. We spend every weekend with them. Grandma would pick us up from school and make us lunch. And besides that, every time one of us asked her to babysit, she said, I already raised my kids. Even if we were just asking her to keep an eye on the kid while we hopped to the store. So it really is the hypocrisy that gets me, not her not babysitting. I couldn't care less about that. So my sister had her first kid about four months ago. We had a family dinner on Friday where everyone got to meet the baby. So we were all mingling, and my sister asked mom at one point if she could watch the baby on Friday for one hour so she could pick up her meal from the airport. My mom started to say her usual sentence, and my brothers and I jumped in and finished the sentence for her and laughed. My brother then offered to watch baby. We thought it was over, but mom was offended and went on a long rant about disrespect. My sister was confused and said, I just thought you might want to bond with your granddaughter, to which I said, she didn't even raise us. What makes you think she would want to spend time with our kids? I admit I was mad. Because she was acting like she was that martyr who never had time for herself. When she literally never had us and when she did, my older brother and I took care of everything in the house. Including child care and house stuff. Obviously, my mother got furious saying that I was ungrateful. My older brother intervened and said that we weren't ungrateful, but we couldn't ignore the matter of fact. The fight escalated, and my mother stormed off. My father called us and told us it was entitled to shame mom for not babysitting. Are we the assholes? Edit my father is not mentioned because this story is not about him, and it doesn't make sense to talk about him. There is more to the story with him, of course. But this story was about an interaction with us and our mum. The only involvement our father had was the short call at the end. That's why he isn't mentioned much. Not the asshole. As long as it's okay for people to not be natural caregivers, it is not to be a non-caregiver and wanting to be treated like the saint who sacrifices for everyone. Not the asshole I am 47F and my grandson lives almost 3 hours away. He was just born and I wish I could see him every weekend seriously, my son and Dill would have to tell me to go away if they lived closer. I would babysit whenever they wanted me to. I spent the weekend with them and I got up early and did the morning feedings so they could sleep in. I could not be like your mum. She is the one missing out because grandchildren are the ones we have fun with and spoil. She is lucky she is near hers she is missing out for sure. I don't know what others will say, but my judgment is not the asshole. What she did to you was called parentification. Adults are not supposed to make their older children take care of the younger ones. You were right. And if the words spoken were as you described, you could have been much harsher. Your sister apparently didn't notice how mom reacted to babysitting asks when it wasn't her kids. Not the asshole. I'm so sick of hearing I raised my kids when I was shipped off to my grandparents for every school break, three months in the summer, and basically every weekend. That is until I was old enough to be the babysitter for younger siblings myself. You didn't raise your kids. We raised ourselves. Hate to say this, but it sounds like mom didn't want the set of kids she had, let alone to be responsible for grandkids. There's a saying I heard not long ago that makes perfect sense. We can't expect the generation that dropped us off with our grandparents to turn around and be grandparents. At the end of the day, it's her loss not the asshole. Not the asshole. 
Question since your dad only come in at the end of the story, was he fully with your mom in shuffling you off elsewhere all your lives? Not the asshole. Your mum disrespected you by palming you off on your grandparents your whole lives. Although, I'm curious to know where your dad was and if you feel the same towards him. Not the asshole my mother is the exact same way. I remember telling her how excited I was to be moving back to the same town after military service. I hope you aren't doing that because you think you have some sort of built-in babysitter here. Um. What? She has never watched my kids. Not the asshole and on point to boot. What was your father doing for you guys to be shipped off so much as well? He sounds like he was pretty absent too. Not the asshole your mother can't watch your kids before she doesn't know how. After all she barely raised you. Not the asshole hey mom, better start looking for nursing homes because we sure ain't taking care of you when you're old and senile. Happy Mother's Day. Not the asshole, this is the embodiment of the boomer mentality. Not the asshole. You were just being truthful. That said, it's not going to change anything and sometimes things like this are better left unsaid despite the personal satisfaction of saying them. I think this is a justifiable ass situation. Especially after reading your comments. Your mom wants saint status for doing fuck all. And saying she raised you kids. When it sounds like you were raised by her grandparents and were completely parentified by her parents. It sounds like you came to terms with the fact her kids will barely know them and okay with the status quo as long as she's not trying to say she's world's best mom and grandma. Not the asshole you didn't shame her for not babysitting, you shamed her for being a deadbeat mom. Not the asshole I don't even think you shamed her, she got called out in a charming and funny way imho and overreacted by doubling down and sort of shamed herself. She expects everyone to dance around the facts. That's interesting in itself. Not the asshole. My mom's mom did the same thing to us. And was all shocked Pikachu face when we got older and wanted nothing to do with her. It's fine not to want to babysit and that she already raised her kids. But she doesn't need or get to act like she needs her ass kissed for doing so. Not the asshole. So it really is the hypocrisy that gets me, not her not babysitting. Your father is missing the point of what you and your siblings said. You didn't gang up on her and try to bully her into babysitting. You finished her sentence, that each of you had heard probably dozens of times before. It sounds like you have accepted who and what she is. Meaning you know she won't babysit. How is that entitled? Not the asshole there's a whole generation of these grandparents. Those that used their own parents as free and constant childcare and now barely look at their own grandkids with a clay mass excuse of already raising their kids. Then they want to be treated like they were the best parents. Like okay you don't want to watch your grandkid, but don't act like you were wonder mom or something and don't get mad when we don't all pretend along with you. Not the asshole. Your mother doesn't want to spend time with kids that's her prerogative. But her going into a rant about a reasonable request was out of line, your sister's response was natural, and so was yours. Your mother is making her bed, and she won't enjoy laying on it. My mill was the same dumped her kids on the grandmothers, and refused to babysit her granddaughters our daughters. Now our daughters refuse to see her, and she's almost never met our grandchildren. Her loss. Not the asshole, but have to ask where was your father? I mean she wasn't so low in the neglecting department. She sounds like my mill. You're not the asshole I find it hurtful that my mill doesn't seem to have any interest in spending one on one time with her grandkids. I'm not talking babysitting I'm talking just spending time with them in general esp since she only sees them 3x a year but the entire time it's complaining about how loud they are. I think your points are valid. Not the asshole, the truth hurts sometimes. Not the asshole. But you have to accept that your mom is weird. Changing her at this point may just be a futile exercise. Is it worth the trouble? Not the asshole your mom's just angry you, 
and your siblings finally called her out on her BS. Not the asshole it's fine not to want to babysit the grandkids, but don't get mad if people don't think you're grandparent of the year. Where was your father when your mother was dumping you at your grandparents? Does your dad babysit his grandkids? Not the asshole. Family helps each other. Not the asshole. You didn't shame her for not babysitting. You told her the truth. Not the asshole. It's the hypocrisy of it. She fobbed you off on your grandparents and didn't raise you but now she's the grandparent she's trying to claim she did her parenting she's the R here and she knows it. Not R. We hear so many stories where one or both parents claim all these bragging rights for having and raising kids, when in reality those kids get dumped at another person, or family member's home. It's gross. Part of raising kids is, you know, actually raising kids. Good on you and your brothers for calling her out. Maybe she should sit in that guilt for a while. Is there more to the story? Was she working during the time you were at grandparents trying to provide for the family? If not, it's just a sad situation. And obviously Opie is not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your mom is doing stuff on purpose and if she doesn't want to watch the kid, just say it instead of making excuses every single time. I would definitely feel in the way if my mom can't even watch the kid for one hour out the year just so I can pick someone up at airport. You either love your grandkids or you don't. Natar honestly she isn't required to be a hands-on grandma, and she shouldn't be shamed fkr that, but she doesn't get to pretend she is a loving grandma either. But it's also such a societal pressure thing forced onto women of every generation, so it does kinda suck all around, for everyone.